they seen a man doing the damn dirtiness with three people. Three females, one guy, three females, my room, my bed. Oh, you nasty. Hello, you guys, and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have you here. So today, we are going to be doing a story time, oh my gosh, of a time in my life where if my mom watches this, she is not going to be happy. That is all I got to say about that. Um, but it is the time where my brother and I semi through like a Project X party and it was when my parents were out of town. It was just insane. So I first want to say before we get into that is I'm so sorry about the change of like venue. The lighting is not perfect. I'm in my hotel room. We are in California and this is literally just me by the lighting and you are propped up on a cinnamon frosted flake cereal and <laughs> some fruit snacks. So if you also hear like the hubby in the background, he's out there. So I'm so sorry for that. But let's let's just get into the goodness. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this occurred when I was about I would say I was probably like 14, 15 years old and my brother is two years older than me. So Project X came out and we <laughs> My brother had watched that and he came up to me and he was like, Deanna, we have to make this happen. And I was like, bro, what the fuck do you mean? So I'm just going to give you a visual of our houses. So our houses growing up were so close to each other that you could literally yell to your neighbor like, hey girl, what's going on? Like, that's how close they were. So I was like, how do you expect us to throw this Project X party? He was like, Deanna, don't even worry about it. I'm going to figure everything out. I just need you to be my sidekick. I need you to help me out because you're closer with mom. So we knew that our parents were going out of town. And this was the summer. We were both in high school and it was summer. Like summer had just started. And my parents and my little brother were going out of town to like New York or whatever. So we knew that was our chance. Like, you know, get it going. So our parents were about to go out of town. So we were already prepping things. We had a Facebook group going. My brother had a Facebook group. He said, we are throwing a party. Invite everyone and their mother. Like you guys can all come. So we literally planned everything. I stole my mom's keys to her bedroom so we could put all of the furniture in there. Like we got everything set up and good. My parents leave and it's like, we, I think we have like a couple days prior to the party to get everything set up. So what we do is we literally have like all of my brothers and his friends take all of the furniture and throw it into my mom's bedroom because she had like a pretty decently sized big bedroom. So took all of the furniture, put it in there. We also had a bunny rabbit. And I swear this is like my favorite memory of this whole entire thing was all I remember is us having to convince my brother's friend's mom. It's like, let the bunny stay with them, right? So literally, we walked our bunny in the bunny cage all the way to our friend's house, put the bunny there, and our bunny stayed with our friend's mom during this whole entire fiasco. Because, you know, we can't have the bunny scared out here. We got to have the bunny in its own environment. Bunny can't know what's going on. So we got everything set up, and our parents still have no clue what is going on. Like, zero clue. And I swear to God, I feel like my brother, his name's Dylan. So that's what I'm going to say. My brother's name is Dylan. And he was, like, the mastermind of all of this. I was just just that person that helped him get it all set up. Like I was just a bystander, okay? But I would say I helped him a lot, way too much, which is why in the end, I get grounded for a very long time. So we get everything set up and then pretty much it's the day of the party. So the party rolls around. Parents still don't know what's going on. Neighbors don't know what's going on. But I do remember my brother's friend went to every single neighbor and they said, hey, tonight we're going to be throwing a party let everybody know, don't call the fucking cops. Don't be a lame -o. We're just, you know, gonna be partying it up with hundreds of people in this small ass house. Well, it wasn't that small. It was like a four bedroom house. It was pretty big, but we let everybody in the neighborhood know, like we are throwing a party. Don't fuck with us. Like don't call the cops, which you'll see. It's not what happens. And they, they did that. But it's the day of the party, right? So party's going on. We got kegs and we underage y'all. We are underage. We are in high school. We got kegs. We got a, just a freaking DJ. Like we had a DJ set up in our living room, just ready to get everything going, get the party popping. So we get everything set up. Everything is looking good. We have no furniture. Like we have a soup. We have like a pretty big backyard. So we set up like tables and like beer pong and all that stuff. And if you're watching this and you're underage, do not do this stuff. Do not put your parents through such misery and just 
it's just not, it's not good. But it is a funny memory and my mom is gonna kill me watching this video because we did plan everything out. Like it was literally planned for weeks before my parents went on vacation. So back to the day of the party. So it's the day of the party. We get everything set up, right? And it's going good. People start rolling in, cars start pulling up. We just have them park on like the side of the road because you're able to do that in our neighborhood. So they were all just like parking on the roads. The party was popping. And I swear to God, this party went from zero to 100 so freaking fast. I didn't, I didn't even understand it. So we're just partying. We're just having a good time. And all of a sudden the party gets so big that it was like you were just scooting next to people. Like you couldn't communicate with them. You had the whole entire house like with people and then the backyard was full of people and then the front people had to start hanging out in the front and that's like not what we wanted we were like guys you cannot be in the front like if you're in the front cops are gonna get called they're gonna come we're all underage we have drinks we have things going on and then all of a sudden I decide I'm gonna walk in the backyard right let's see how the backyard doing and all of a sudden I see drugs 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 i was like this is not happening i'm not staying for this and i actually brought um my boyfriend at the time and i think like my two best friends were at the party but i didn't really invite anybody else my brother had invited the whole school yo the whole fucking school so everyone's pulling up everyone's bringing whatever they want whether it's beer whether it's drinks whether it's drugs which I, i'm not all about we do not do that in this house um but they were in the backyard doing that i was like okay i'm just not gonna go back there so all of a sudden the party just gets way too big but my brother hype my brother drunk as shit he's like yes i'm throwing this party i'm gonna be the biggest name at the school everyone is gonna know dylan levitt that was just all he cared about he cared about throwing a project x similar like party to where his name would be known in the school and i'm over here like bro we're gonna die like our parents are going to kill us but anyways party's getting big literally couldn't even communicate with people couldn't even like walk by people it was getting so big so all of a sudden all of a sudden party's probably been going on for like two hours so like 9 p.m party started and it's only like 11 o'clock and this party is so big that if you walked outside you could not even drive down the street because there were so many cars so i'm trying to really show y'all how big this shit got because it got so so fucking big it's just it was insane i couldn't even believe my brother did this i was like bro bro you got this bro you got this but all of a sudden it got so big to where cars could not even drive down the street so we knew like shit was gonna go down but my brother was oblivious dylan was just in his own world in his own lane just doing what he do partying it up drinking mingling making sure people know his name okay that's what he made sure and all of a sudden i walk out front and my oldest brother his name is danny so i actually have three brothers so just stay with me guys so all of a sudden my oldest brother danny he was like i am not getting into this i am not doing this i don't I don't want to know about your party. I don't want to be at your party because he was way older. He's 11 years older than me. So he was of legal age. Like he would get in a lot of trouble if he was at this party, right? Like there's underage drinking. There's a lot of not good drugs, things going on. Okay. All of a sudden my brother calls me and he's like, I'm out front. And I was like, okay. So I came out front and he was like, shut this party down like y'all literally threw the biggest party ever you guys need to calm it down like you guys need to cancel it i already know that the cops are going to be coming like it's just way too crazy cars can't even come down the street you guys have got the whole neighborhood with cars like people couldn't even get in the fucking neighborhood because there were so many cars and people just walking to our house so he was like guys the cops are gonna come like you need to cancel this okay so my brother told me y'all need to get out i was like okay bro we gonna we gonna get out of there we are going to get out and then all of a sudden my phone rings and it says mom i said ignore yo ignore i'm not answering like if i would have answered that phone call she would have heard all of the music in the background then all of a sudden my brother dylan he runs out of the house literally sprints and this bitch is like <laughs> trying to look for me and he's like yo mom is calling me and i was like ignore fuck, don't answer that shit so we have already got right danny telling us y'all need to shut this shit down we've got this huge party with underage a lot of shit going on that should not be going on we've got a huge party full of way too many people We've got cops probably already being called, and then we got our mama calling us. So, we
we all outside. Danny's like, I'm not even getting out of my car. I'm not fucking with this. I told y'all not to do this. So he goes about his way and it's me and Dylan. And we literally have our mom calling back to back to back. So we're like, okay, our neighbors must have told her. So our neighbor actually was really, really, really good friends with my mom, like best friends. Like they knew each other since I was running outside in diapers. So I knew that she must have called my mom. So all of a sudden I decide I'm going to answer this. I'm Yana. Okay. Like I'm going to answer this and mom is going, I'm going to calm her down. Like I'm the person to do this because Dylan is already drunk. I wasn't, I don't even think I drank that night or did anything crazy. Like I literally wanted to make sure that I was good and like the house was good and my mom's shit wasn't going to get fucked up. Right. My, or my mom keeps calling my brother. So I answer my brother's phone. I was like, Hey mom, what's going on? And I like made sure I ran away from the house far enough to where like you couldn't hear the music. And oh my God, my mom was cursing. She was yelling at us. She was like, what the everything that you could possibly think of my mom was saying over the phone she's like ah y'all are y'all gonna be grounded for life y'all are never coming out the house like now i gotta fly back tomorrow because they weren't supposed to fly back home like for another week or whatever so she's cursing at us i'm like mom it's nothing to worry about like we're not doing nothing like we don't even have a party going on who told you who was the snitch who told you what was happening so she tells us that it was the neighbor that I knew it was it was because they was really good friends. So essentially, we were told our lives were ruined. We weren't going to have a summer. The rest of the summer was going to be over. That my mom was actually going to fly back early because she was so mad at us. Like she, she really did fly back early too. So we are now at the stage where our mama knows. I know my mama going to call the cops too. She don't care. She don't get us in trouble. She does not care about that. So I was really like, yo, Danny told me cops was coming. Mama found out she is not happy. She is booking a flight home tomorrow. I'm leaving. Like, I got nothing to do with this, bro. I was just a bystander. I was just, no, like, I did not, I did not make this party happen. I just helped make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, I just helped. So I called my boyfriend. My boyfriend was at the party. I called my best friends. I was like, get in the car. We are leaving. I, I will leave my brother here. I will leave the party. I will leave my own house. We are leaving. We are not staying here for the cops to come. Too many underage shit was going down in that house. Oh, boyfriend runs out. Best friends runs out. We pop in the car and we leave. So all of a sudden, we're like two minutes away. And I warned my brother Dylan. I was like, Dylan, you got to shut this shit down. Like before I left, I told him, I was like, you got to shut this shit down. Like I'm leaving. Whatever you do, do you. But I'm leaving. Like I'm not getting caught for this shit. Mama already knows. Uh, our oldest brother already told us that cops was coming. Like I'm not getting caught. So <clears throat> and when I mean caught, I mean, I ain't getting caught with no cops. Okay. I got a straight record. I got a life ahead of me. Like I am not doing this. So my brother doesn't really pay attention to anything. He's stupid. He's like, oh, we got, you know, he drinking and stuff. He's like, we got D, we got, everything's going to be okay. I was like, good luck because <laughs> I'm gone. So now finally, me, boyfriend, best friends, we gone, right? <laughs> I can't even like, I can't even believe I'm telling you guys this story right now. But we're gone. And all of a sudden, I get a phone call from my brother, Dylan. Y'all want to hear what he said? He goes, Deanna. He's whispering to me on the phone. He goes, Deanna, I'm hiding in the bushes. I said, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? He goes, and let me tell you, this isn't even after like two minutes or this isn't even like two minutes after I left. Like I had just left and this was happening. So I was happy. I was gone. He was like, no, I'm scared. And I was like, scared of what? He was like, the cops, they're here. I was like, so, so let me get this straight. You calling me? drunk scared and in the bushes what? what the fuck so I was like bro where are you like I was trying to yell at him like where are you like if we have to come get you if we have to like figure something out like where are you and he goes in the bushes I was like fuck this shit good luck and I hung up the phone I was like I cannot do this because I still had like my mom calling me. She was like, how can my daughter do this to me? So I was just like, you know, I was just helping the bro out. I was just, I was just helping the bro. So 
cops are here, right? And this is where it really, <clears throat> really goes wrong. So my oldest brother, thank God, my oldest brother is a saint. He is the best thing ever. He's definitely like my father figure, you know, he is the best. Danny, I fucking love him. He decides that he was going to still park outside and wait for the cops. And so the cops pull up and this is what my brother has told me, but the cops pull up and he actually knows one of the cops from high school like they graduated together like they know each other so my brother Danny gets out of the car he goes hey cops like my little siblings did this I don't know I haven't walked into the house I literally just pulled up and I was waiting for you guys like I didn't want to walk in the house just in case anything illegal was going on because I'm not getting in trouble and the cops literally told him like that's exactly what you should do like you're not gonna get in trouble like would you mind walking us through the house then my brother Danny was like no that's totally fine like I'll walk you through We'll walk through together and like see what's gone down. So my brother and the cops start walking through the house, right? They walk through. Clearly the house is a wreck, like a mess. People had to run out of there. Like everyone was just running. I wasn't even there for that part. So I can't even tell you like, did my brother tell everyone the cops were coming? Like, I don't, I don't even know. He would have to clarify that, but my bro okay, back to my brother and the cops walking through the house, right? So they walk through the house, they go door through door. So through my brother's door, through my little brother's door, through my parents' room, which they couldn't get into because we locked it. We didn't want people to get access to their room. Um, they walked outside, they, you know, seen everything that was going down. And then the worst part of it all, they walk into my room. My, I did not tell nobody they could go in my room, yo. I did not tell nobody they could go in my room. So, and sorry guys, if I look like a little sick and I'm breaking out and all that stuff, girl, I am sick. I got my Starbucks tea here, my throat hurting, but I'm gonna make this video for y'all because I have been wanting to do it. Um, so don't mind the craziness the sinuses and all that stuff so i did not tell anyways i did not tell nobody they could go inside of my room right <sighs> you want to know what they seen when they walked inside of my room <sighs> they seen a man doing the damn dirtiness with three people three females one guy three females my room my bed my bed my sheets yo my bed my bed my fucking bed so they tried to pretend like they were sleeping when we know what was going on there so my brother says yo they really tried to act as, as if they were sleeping and let me tell you this man the one that was in my bed was my brother's best friend i was like yo you know me like you know not to come in my freaking room and like mess with my bed my sheets my mattress like mattresses are expensive okay i was a kid i didn't have the money to get myself another mattress so whatever they did the dang thing in in my room on my bed they got caught i think the cops like actually just let them loose like he didn't get in trouble i know my brother's um like best friend he didn't get in trouble nothing really happened i think that my oldest brother danny that was there really helped like he helped the situation not be as bad as it was. And the fact that he knew the cop from high school also made it like 10 times better that all of this is happening because they knew each other. So they get off the hook, they get to leave, they're good. And that's essentially, oh, you guys probably wanna know what happened to the mattress. What happened? I, my mama said, you ain't getting a new mattress, honey. I said, what? So literally for the rest of my teenage years, I had to flip my mattress over. She, she didn't let me throw away the sheets. Like, I threw away the sheets. I was like, I'm not fucking with those. Got new pillows. Got new all of that. But she was like, you ain't getting a new mattress. You did this to yourself. You wanted to throw a party. You wanted to, okay, you, you didn't throw it, but you wanted to help your brother. Oh, well, you gonna deal with the mattress now. So, yes, you guys, I had to flip that mattress over and deal with the other side of it. Ugh, not good. But anyways, you guys, that's pretty much what happened when my brother and I threw the Project X party. And I really hope that I didn't forget anything or I'll do like a follow-up video to this. Maybe um, when my brother and I see each other, we haven't seen each other and I think it's been like seven months. Um, whenever we see each other, we could do like a video together. But this was probably the craziest thing we did as kids. And I have to say, looking back, it was, it was fun though. Like it was one of the best memories we have. And I will say, I got grounded for a month for helping, aiding and abetting the brother. I got a month being grounded of the summer though like it wouldn't be too hard if it was during the school year when you could like go to school and come home and then be grounded but we was grounded no tv no cell phones literally to our four walls i was a month my brother was three he was for the whole entire summer they were like no honey no so that's pretty much what happened 
it went wrong in so many different ways. Mama finding out um, the thing happening in my bed and the cops showing up. But I have to say thank you to my brother Danny because he really saved the day. He really helped everything go down. And then my brother, that is all you guys for this video. I would actually love to do more story times. I am someone who loves to turn story times on. If you guys want to hear more story times, if you like to hear the crazy shit me and my brother or myself did growing up or the crazy things that have happened to me, comment down below and let me know if you want to see it because I would love to do more. I love watching them, love doing them. I thought this was so much fun. And I also will have the giveaway winner down below. You guys know that I did a giveaway every single week in December and I was supposed to announce the giveaway winner yesterday, but unfortunately with me being sick, you guys know I did not upload a video on Sunday, but I will have the giveaway winner down below and they will be winning $50. And I just thought that was the most simple thing to do with me traveling. I'm the easiest thing, but that's still a good chunk of change. It's after Christmas. You can spend it on what you want, um, but I won't be saying their name in here. Just make sure to look one in the comment section and in the description down below to see if you are a winner of that one. And then now, from now on, because December is over, guys, and 2020 is right around the corner, I will be posting a video every Monday and every Friday so no more every other day unless I can figure that out with my full-time college but I'll be posting Mondays and Fridays so make sure to look out for those videos don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this make sure to like this video if you liked it if you thought it was funny so I could just show my mama how many people like this video because see good content ma what we did as a kid was good content and make sure to comment down below any more videos that you guys would want to see and I will catch you in Friday's video